Hello, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy. During these frightening and difficult times, it is my pleasure to announce some great news. The winners of the National Lead Dream Home Contest for 2020. The Cat Academy represents the very best secondary architectural programs in the nation, the most knowledgeable instructors, the most intelligent and creative students nationally. As usual, the difference between being first, second, or third is very small, sometimes one single point. Any of these entries could have been first, as well as the top 10, which we'll post later on this week. So congratulations to all students who entered the contest, and a big thanks to the great instructors who encourage and care about students. I am very proud to introduce you to the winners of this year's contest. All winning entries have complied with the criteria for LEED. They all have energy-saving HVAC units, insulated windows, the ability to recycle rainwater, irrigation systems, etc. So I will just share with you special and interesting comments made by the students and special features of their project. Our third place winner will build his home in Montville, New Jersey. He lives in the area and understands the climate. He has called out spray foam insulation so temperatures will remain constant in the home. The heating and air can be adjusted for each floor and each individual room. The brick bound uh, foundation is upcycled and locally sourced. The solar panels have a huge, huge impact on the overall efficiency of the home. Our lumber, they have lumber from the local lumber mill, and they recycled and reused, they used recycle and reuse concrete. And they use natural lighting to keep the home light during the day to save power costs. And the third place winner is Adam. Congratulations to you, Adam. Melody LaRosa is her, his instructor from Kearney High School. That's a great program out there. And we appreciate all you do, Melody. Congratulations again to Adam, Melody, and Kearney High. Great job. Our second place winner is also a winner from last year. Last year she took us to the desert, and this year to the beach. She researched on the damage done to houses from rising ocean levels, and some have suggested floating communities and islands, innovative use of old plastic bottles to allow buildings to float while reducing waste. So there's a lot of uh, people looking into this and thinking of how they can solve the, the issue. The house is located on the California coastline with the front door facing east to take full use of the sun. This is a three-story house and has 2,200 square feet. The lower level is used as an outdoor space so it can be closed off in case of bad weather. There is a strong foundation to protect the house from natural disaster and still to prevent flooding during the storm season. The windows are storm-proof, energy efficient, and break into a small pattern if shattered. Instead of concrete pavers are used to return rainwater back to the ground. Using BIM software, the builders and engineers are able to know the exact quantity of materials needed for construction to ensure there is no waste, she tells us. And the first, second place winner is Sophie. Congratulations again, Sophie. You have, you've come up with some very good ideas. James Flannery is her instructor from Hamilton High School, and this, this is another year-by-year -year winning program. We appreciate you, James, out there. Congratulations again, Sophie. Our first place winner mentioned that entering the contest has shown me for the second year that I enjoy problem solving, finding solutions to real issues we have on the planet, and also finding ways to support our environment while still supporting ourselves. The home is on a small privately owned lake known as Mud Lake in Florence, Wisconsin. The desired location has an abundance of forestry, beautiful sunlit skies, and breezy afternoons making it perfect for the 12 solar panels on the roof. The open and spacious yard help provide, yard gives room for five wind turbines that help provide the majority of electrical needs for the home. Over the course of the project, I learned a lot more about LEED certification, which has allowed me to incorporate elements into my dream home. Using these elements is important because it makes, makes it efficient and safe for our environment. It is important to make, uh, with the state of the world today, it is important to make these changes and preserve our environment. And our winner is Noah Sherman. 
Tom Beck, another great instructor, is his instructor from Florence High School. These are three great programs that won. So congratulations, Noah. Noah could be a, a, a rendering artist. He, he, those were all of his renderings that he did. And this school really does a great job on rendering. There's jobs for that, too. Well, congratulations, everyone. The top 10 winning students video will be posted this week. And due to the unusual circumstances, we will need shipping addresses for the prizes because we usually send them to the school, and I don't, a lot of schools aren't open, as well as for the certificates for every student. It'd be nice if the teacher, if we could send them to the instructor, but we'll send them to all your students as well. We appreciate everyone who participated in the Lead Dream Home Contest. You represent what is great about students today. We appreciate the dedicated instructors with, when instructors like these leave, their programs are never the same. The amazing programs and the talented students. Well, everyone out there, be safe and be well. Thank you for listening.